I'm going to use what little daylight I have left here and show you how to cook some biscuits over a campfire. Now, I prefer canned biscuits. I mean, you can take the time and make homemade biscuits, but honestly, I just prefer the taste of the canned ones. And when you're out camping, uh, you can throw a couple cans of these in a cooler and it's a whole lot easier. So, you need your Dutch oven. And it's already seasoned real well, but I'm going to put just a little bit of extra oil in the bottom of it just to keep the biscuits from sticking. You don't need much. Then I'll kind of wipe that around just so I got a, a nice layer on the bottom and the sides where the biscuits will be touching. Now don't worry about the directions on this can, they don't apply to campfires anyway. Dutch oven you need just a little bit of heat on the bottom and a lot of heat on the top because the heat rises so what little you put down there is all gonna rise up but very little of it's gonna sink down into the into the bottom of it so I'm gonna knock this fire over and dig some coals out of the bottom of it <clears throat> And I don't want to put these coals right on the ground because it's just going to leave a burn spot on the ground. And that's not very pretty for some, say the, the next person who's coming to your campsite, uh, come and see burn scars all over the ground. So I like to try to protect the, the ground as best I can. But now I want to get a lot of coals put on top here. I'll grab a little extra dirt too, but that's all right. stack that wood back up it's hot enough it's just gonna start burning again so I'm not not too worried about putting my fire out I don't want a lot of coals on top And then while that's heating up, I'll just re restack my firewood so it can keep building up more coals in case I need some more. We're just going to let that cook for a little bit. Thank you. 
when you're cooking in a Dutch oven, you want to check it frequently. And put a glove on because this all the heat coming off the top that's going to be really hot. What you really want to be careful of is that none of those ashes fall off the, the lid and into your food. So lift it up slow just to make sure nothing's going to fall. And then you can check it. You can check the bottoms. It's starting to brown just a little bit. So there's you can see there, they're still raw right now. They'll get there. I'll throw a little more heat on top, make sure they keep cooking. Now this works best when you have a huge bed of coals to pick out from. But I was running out of daylight, so I'm kind of rushing my fire a little bit. But we'll get it. It'll still cook. This is just a collapsible blowpipe. It's a, it's a metal tube. I use it as a straw for blowing on the fire. It's called a, a pocket bellows. Picked it up on Amazon, but it's pretty handy for keeping your fire going. Go ahead and check these biscuits again, see how they're doing. Let's check the bottoms. Definitely don't want to burn the bottoms. Oh, bottoms are looking good. We just need to keep the heat going on top. Whenever you're cooking in a Dutch oven, you have to check it frequently because it's very easy to either burn the tops or burn the bottoms because you just don't know exactly what that temperature is inside that oven. So don't be afraid to check it often and add a few more coals on the bottom and a lot more coals on the top if you need to. Getting there. I wanted to rotate it because I'm not sitting on level ground, and so that little bit of grease I had in the bottom was running off to one side so I want to coat that evenly on the bottom of the, the Dutch oven and also the heat on the bottom isn't real even so I wanted to make sure I've got a, a nice even brown all the way around the biscuits
look like biscuits. Look at that. That's some good looking biscuits. I just want to give the insides just a little more t time to, to get done and then I'll take them off. Take a look. There we go. Yep, those are done. those bottoms just as golden brown as the tops they're hot nice golden brown bottom and top light and fluffy I think I'm gonna go throw some apple butter on there and have a nice dinner See, got the bottoms golden brown all the way around. Nice even cook. That's a pan of biscuits my grandma would be proud of right there. That's a good looking pan of biscuits. <laughs>